Hey guys, quick little thing in case those who don't know who Alois is. He's a Riven Munchrick that's hit super high ELO in EUS and Korea, and he's one of the best educational top laners in the entire goddamn world of content creation. Anyways, he's taken an interest in Yarek, and I decided to VOD review him just for a bit of fun on stream while I was waiting in queue, and he's actually very, in it's very interesting to see. I talk about a lot about Yarek and the text that I don't really think about, and seeing his gameplay actually made me able to like, oh hey, this is difference between me and the average presence like you. So you could guys learn something from a little bit like this, you know? Anyways, have a great day and remember to like and subscribe to the video. Let's see how I wanna see how Alois plays Yark. I already know for a fact it's not gonna be very good. The reality put is, a massive volume a bit loud. Most people's first time in playing Yark isn't very good. He's going first strike. Is he getting coached by Kerberos? This is two, two like this. Oh wait, my camera Flash Ignite. I'm not sure where he went D shield. No. He's not going um thing. So he's going TP flash with first strike. What the fuck are his runes? He went the he went the movement speed quint. Okay. Not good. The reason why I'll show you guys something, right? So let me change my runes. I'll change my runes while talking about it. Fuck are these runes? You don't I mean, the movement speed, this movement speed run isn't the worst thing in the world, but the reason why it's not that good in Yarek is because it doesn't apply to your ghouls. Percentage increase in movement speed don't affect your ghouls, but um, stuff like base movement speed, like Dead Man's just gives you like 40 straight up, that affects your ghouls. Percentages don't affect your ghouls, no. Approach Velocity is just straight up fucking overpowered in Yarek, just straight up. Oh god. Guys, this Pantheon fucking this Pantheon fucked his combo so hard. Is he gonna he's almost dying because of it? If the Pantheon is just started with W into Q, he fucking stumps. If Pantheon goes Doran's shield, he fucking stumps. If Pantheon goes Ignite, he chunks him out so fucking hard that he has to teleport. And he gets a shot wave as well, because his wave is actually pretty good. It was worth the Pantheon the Yarek. I mean the Pantheon's miles was hundred percent. This Pantheon is fucking Ignite. He's going, this Pantheon's going PTA, and he has Empowered WQ, and Empowered Q's point blank to him. What the fuck? Just W him. You stupid? Fresh account? Yeah, this is fresh account. From, on, on, by Alois. He's playing, uh, right now, um, the guy's playing really bad, the Pantheon. Special in his first game of the day, Drip Lord. Drip Lord. Um, nah, that was a pretty good W there. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Does he try to shove the wave or hold it? You just hold the wave here. Yep. Back. Did he summon ghouls? No, good. No, I'm gonna summon ghouls. Go and pick what is he going? He goes pickaxe for what? Is he going to prevent hydro? How's he playing? Is he going to grudge first item? He's not going grudge first item, right, guys? <laughs> He's not going grudge first item, right? Hey, stop that! What are you doing? <laughs> it's like not, it's not the okay. Listen, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's pretty fucking bad. No, do not go grudge rush, guys. As he throwing the E's, I mean, you just just throw the fucking E like a spitball. Go, yep, hits whatever. I need to play that fight. What? Not summoning Maiden is um like not summoning Maiden is is not summoning Maiden okay here? Like not summoning Maiden is is fine here, but not summoning Maiden here is only fine because the Pantheon's really bad. If Pantheon is good, right? Because he has PT Ignite, he just has permacure pressure on Yarek. And because you're going first strike on Yarek, right? You're not gonna, like... It's so inconsistent. And, you, like, let's say Pantheon starts a fight with an empowered W, right? And then you summon Maiden. You're probably, you're, like, you're gonna be fucking half HP before Maiden even comes out. And then he just kills you with a Q Ignite. Like, this only works because Pantheon's really bad. And he summons Maiden. Oh, he's getting thing. He can outplay this. W yourself? Okay, W flash away, that's fine. Oh, they're both flash. 
Also, another reason why you W flash, right? The reason, the reason you W yourself is because that way, if you W yourself, right, and you walk over your, you walk past your wall, even the flash, they can't do anything. Free coaching, free coaching. Yeah, free allies coaching. Here it is. This is fine. It's good. Very good. So right now, he just wants to sit back and let Maiden farm and then spawn some ghouls that way, get some priority. So he has two ghouls right now. Actually, a pretty good spot. Yeah, he woke up. That you should not have hit there. And the Pathfinder just tried eating the ghouls instead of the fucking Yarek. What a fucking idiot. What am I looking at? Nice. His E came up, so he could have E'd instead. That's good kill. He gives a shit. Let's see how he gets the tower. Okay. Choose not to go for the tower because um, the guy's level 6. Oh my god. He's going Kerberos' shit fucking setup, isn't he? He went Kerberos' fucking setup, dude. He's going Kerberos' setup. He's going fucking first strike and sorcery. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I'm fucking disgusted. Do not go. Please don't go that. What are you building? Ecl oh, it's going Eclipse. Okay, that's fine. Eclipse first. I mean, Eclipse first item is good. It's very fucking good. It's like very, very good. Bit of a coward play. You can go to the Fowlity. Who do they have on the enemy team? They have Bard, Varus, Pantheon, Lysandra, and Yi. I mean, fucking send it. Just go. I uh, just go fucking profane. Who gives a shit? Just go. <laughs> just go profane. Fucking send it, bro. Why are you pussy guy? Just go profane. Go get the big balls in here. Get the big balls in here, you know? Hey, just where the balls in. Alex, where are your balls? Come on, you're gonna send it, man. The League of Legends, man. Why do you ban Fiora? Because I find Fiora frustrating. And I think I really a bad matchup, but it's got a lot better with the Yorick buffs. What do you do if Yorick gets banned? I'd probably play Gangplank. Bad mana control there. So he bad mana control. What you do, what he needs to do is not step back. He needs to step, he needs to face forward and keep facing forward. And if he wants to, because him, yeah, okay. So he, so right now he just needs to maybe walk a tiny step back and then face forward. That way Maiden's behind. But because he turns around like this and then Maiden's going to go behind him, right? And he throws the E and he's running backwards, but Maiden sees Pantheon. So Maiden's going to run it down and Maiden's going to fucking probably die now. And he just fucking into Maiden control. He could also outplay that Maiden control there by trying to like Maiden manipulate. But Maiden manipulating against Pantheon is really risky. But at the same time, you could bait into a kill as well, so who knows. But he, he just lost half the health of Maiden against Pantheon. And like, he's still in a good position. But if he gets ganked, it's so fucking easy to kill. And he's probably dead. What the fuck is he doing with Maiden, dude? Oh my god. Dude, Maiden is- Dude, yo, Alice, Maiden is a fucking- Dude, Maiden isn't even like side bitch, bro. Why are you treating her like this? Treat her more gently. What is this? She's- <laughs> he's, he's like no fucking season. Wow. This ain't a side bitch. You're gonna treat her with some gentleness. She's getting shit. You're getting beat up and shit. <laughs> you're getting beat up by the Maiden. Yo, chill. Your man is gonna die! Is he gonna like kill Maiden and get in the tower? He better not kill Maiden and get in the tower. Use of your corpse. <laughs> oh my god. Please, man. This is funny as fuck, bro. I'm having fun. Not, not much people play Yarek. See, this is what I mean. Like, look at, look at him. Look at this fight, right? <laughs> he gets fucking kicked. He gets, he gets, this guy has one core foods, what happened? He's getting shit kicked in, man. He's getting shit kicked in. <laughs> ain't even close. Yap dog. I mean, you guys are talking shit, but like, this is the best Yarek coaching you're gonna get. I'm not even talking about like the actual game itself. I'm just talking about Yarek specific related stuff that he's doing that are mistakes. Or that could be done better. Like and subscribe or I will die. Okay. Okay. What does he go? Oh, dude, don't go Kerberos' setup. Kerberos' setup is so shit. Ah, uh, I'm gonna talk a little shit, but Kerberos' setup is so fucking bad. Stop copying Kerberos, man. I fucking hate Kerberos' setup. Uh, Eclipse. I think Eclipse is really good. Nah, Eclipse is good. 
This is not a file that he's broken as shit. Like, bro. <laughs> like, dude. Just... <laughs> Please, guys. Guys, listen. Guys, listen. Go Kerberos' setup. Oh, don't go my setup. Don't fucking go, go... What is this shit? There's no damage. What is damage? It's like three damage, man. Any ranks down? Yeah, I'm playing the nose right now. I want Ghoul, yeah. He shouldn't think this funny as well. Your experience is deflated because it plays. It's un I mean, it's unfair that I'm giving advice because I have, like, my Yorick is very, 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 very good. And if you're not my Yorick, then you're shit. Path is more reliable in Urga Aurelia. Aurelia, you can just go to Fallon and just straight up stat check right now. It's such an easy matchup. But you have to, like, kind of get ahead. Urga, um... I mean, yeah. I mean, if you like Triforce, go Triforce in the matchups. It's, it's fine. Nothing against it. Kerbera? No. Kerberos. This is the other guy that's like a... He's an EUS Yorick player. He's, I think he's copying his setup, and it's it's like, it's fine, but it's not, it's it's, it's the way of Yark that I don't like, in my opinion. I, I think Kerberos' style is a lot more laid back and poke heavy. I think my style of Yark is a lot more fucking balls to the wall. And I, I, I like, for most players, I think the way Kerberos Slow plays, dog is my daddy. I think the way Bruiser Yarks play is a lot more beneficiary. But my style of Yorick, I think, is going to be more uh, like appetizing for Alois, in my opinion. I feel like Alois likes the fucking damage, fucking balls deep. Like, he plays Riven, right? You should go that setup. It's a hard setup to play. It's very, very hard. It's the hardest one, but it's super rewarding and very, very powerful. What the hell? What is no Lich Bay? No Nashes? What the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, I, I, I get you. I got what you're saying. We should have just sent it on that run, E land. He sees Bard mid, just Panthe on top. Fucking goes full send if he landed right. I guess Bard's missing now, but. I'd send it. I mean, you have approach velocity with Grudge, so you should just fucking go. You can dodge as well. Like, that's a full, like, 3 4 ghoul land. And then you just like, go. He, he is running approach velocity with this setup, right? He is, right? There's no way you, you go you don't go first strike and you don't like run like the only reason you run first strike from light is for that approach velocity. I caught a PDF on ego support after she died from one of from one york e thoughts not gonna lie that's pretty pdf of you you fucking scumbag eat shit oh that was what happened lands the e oh he's running approach velocity that's good like small mistake here i mean no it's not a small mistake it's a relatively big mistake he e's here right and w's and summons ghouls but with him summoning ghouls it delays Varus's deaths and Varus can just fucking beat him to death a little bit. Like, if you're gonna flash auto Q anyways, I guess it doesn't really matter, but like... The Ghouls would've finished him off, you just didn't ult. Can't seem to make first strike Yarrick work, any tips? Don't go first strike Yarrick. Time to work a slam dodge video? I'm a busy man, man. But I've, I've done- I've, I've like... I haven't even done the first part. <laughs> I've done the intro, but I haven't done the first part. I'm working it in like when I'm bothered. Working it when I'm bothered. Go to uni? Yeah. So that was my first day, ironically enough. The fuck? What, what did he do so that Maiden does that? Bad movement. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Why the fuck is he like. I think he's bad movement. You know, people at your uni know about your creative and if there's a YouTube and Twitch, nope. I don't really like go uni to make friends or anything. Let's go and do my fucking course and go home. 
Probably have enough friends. To be F. What the fuck am I? Dude, how is he doing these crugs, man? These are the most crunk crugs I'm looking at. They did little ones. They give you so much money. What are you? <laughs> the little ones, dude. Come on. Tipping top? You're tipping top? Is he gonna try to balance solo? He's not even gonna balance solo. Just to be part in the fucking game. It's too dead mid and too short mid. What? <laughs> just get... what? Just to be part. Get the play bar. I mean, this is fine, I guess. Give a T to tower, but it's so easy reactable as well. Yeah. I mean, you get it anyways, but like. Obviously, a bad W. I mean, like, if you have no ghouls like this, right? Just summon Maiden as well. Just summon Maiden. There's no reason to delay Maiden here. Summon Maiden? Sup? This is it backseating because it's, it's a VOD. It's a VOD, and I'm sh I'm just like watching Alois. Like this is your guys' level of Yarek, right? He just missed the him. <laughs> like someone just get him fight. It's a little trick, guys. For those that know, if Yarek, if you if you mark someone right, you can summon Maiden, and the ghouls will just like jump, guaranteed, pretty much. Macro King. Yeah, it's like the like, like, first few games in Yark, so I don't expect him to know it, but you know, cool little advice. Hmm, I wouldn't play like that. Me personally, I mean, I think he didn't. Pl I, I don't think he played the band as well. I think it's pretty fucked. Like, the way I'd play the fight was, the second I see Lissandra E, a W like, around that spot instantly, right? So that if he goes, you can get a gu like, guaranteed go on her, kinda. He just doesn't E at all. Like, I don't know why he just doesn't E at all. He, if he E's Pan, like, it doesn't matter who he E's, he needs to E somebody. He should technically go for the E on Lissandra. Because Lysandra is like, I mean, I guess she has alt left, but yeah, but like, she eats somebody. He's last, which is just really questionable. I mean, I think his build, this is like a really, really, really safe build. I think his build's very, very coward-like, but it's like, fine, I guess. I think there's a good build to learn Yark with, to learn, like, like just, just a champion. <laughs> That's funny. Stockdale, has anyone ever told you you look like Panzer Dragon? Never, no. I don't think anyone's ever said that before in their entire lives. What elo is he playing? I don't know what elo Alois is. But you can tell it's like, not the highest level. Just fucking hit the Baron. Bro, just hit it. Why are you hiding it? Just hit it. He's walking back so far. Nice. I mean, the game's over, but he walk. When you do Baron, you want to like, you do want to walk back so that just to make sure it doesn't hit you. But you don't want to waste autos while you do that. That's so. oh, really cool that Alois is, play is playing Yarek though. I find that really fucking cool.